I'm gonna teach you how you can improve your bar path for weightlifting, and we're gonna start right now. So what does bar path mean? In the world of weightlifting, this is a, typically it's known as like an abstract concept, but fortunately, with specific tools and with our high-powered iPhones and Androids, we're able to really break down bar path now and see what's going on. So if you're doing a snatch or you're doing a clean, a bar path that's as vertical as possible, okay? And that's going to typically look like it's gonna come in a little bit to the shin. Ideally, it's gonna stay tight around the hips and it'll come even a little bit tighter into your hip. Okay, as it gets off your hip, you'll see almost like a little bit of a J. What muscles are gonna be needed and can we actually improve bar path with cues or with variations? So if we understand what muscles are being used, hamstrings, quads, our feet, our traps, our hips, everything, right? Glutes, everything. That's gonna help us improve that vertical work so that we can get as efficient as possible. Okay, so we are here with 2021 senior Pan Am champ, Haley Reichert. She's also 2021 senior national champ. She's one of the strongest women in the world and arguably I think has some of the best technique in the world. So she's a perfect example for us to execute and learn proper bar path. And so first we wanna go over what muscles are going to be used and we're gonna go through those positions. Okay, so we're gonna start with floor to the knee and Haley's gonna demonstrate very slowly. So this is gonna be like a isometric challenge for her, or just a general slow challenge. So when we're looking at floor to the knee, we wanna really see the knees come back, okay, off the floor, good. So that's gonna be hamstrings and quads. Now, as we get through no man's land right there, that's gonna be more quads and hips. And then as we go through the reciprocation point into the finish, good, perfect, perfect. As we get from here into the hips, that's gonna be more of our glutes and our quads as well, quads especially on that finish. And then from the finish to the catch, we wanna focus on our traps, our rhomboids, even our lats to a point. So those are the muscles that we are gonna be using throughout the pull. So if we can think about the muscles, now we can start to break down with a specific tool. We can see where the bar path is, and if it's out of alignment, we can use a cue around a muscle group or a cue around a movement pattern, or exercises around those patterns and muscles to stimulate better growth and better proprioception, which leads to better bar path. So now we're gonna actually show you one of the best tools in the world that you can use to enhance your bar path. All right, so what we're gonna see here is we're gonna actually show you with the VMAX Pro, okay? So we have a link down in the description where you can see how we use this tool but Haley's got 55 kilos on. She's gonna actually move this and we're gonna be able to see her displacement of the bar when she's hitting her peak velocity, that rate of acceleration. If there's any leaks going on, it's early in the morning, so there might be some technical issues. And then we're gonna break that down so that you guys have a good view into what this tool can provide. Good. Okay, so what we're looking at is you can see here with the this line on the top right, okay? This is essentially the acceleration. There's a little bit of a dip right around here and you, you can see, all right, we're, we're at, um, as she works through here, we're gonna see she's right at the knee, right? And so now we can actually see the bar path. So we see the 2D bar path, we're minus zero uh, centimeters and then she gets to plus one centimeter. So that means there's one centimeter of movement forward, just slightly forward as she pulls from the floor to the knee. And you can actually sort of even see this just slightly there on, the, on this little curve in the bottom right. But as she keeps pulling and you can see, right, we'll keep going here. This is as she's getting into the hip. Ooh, Haley, you did a really good job keeping that left heel down. So now we, we start to get into the power position where we're gonna see peak velocity come. She gets the bar off of her hip and then right here is where we're gonna achieve that peak velocity. And now we're at negative one centimeters. And so and what this is telling us is that if you can keep that bar as tight as possible within one centimeter from the floor to the knee, that's gonna enable you to hit max acceleration right after that bar comes off of your hip. 
You know, so she gets to 1.97 meters per second, which is typically what she's gonna hit up to about 85 to 88% of her best snatch. So that's gonna carry us through into the rest of that catch position. And then the screen down here, now we're starting to see, okay, negative one centimeters. And that's essentially with the 3D bar path, you're gonna be able to tell, all right, she has that J position up at the top, minimal movement from the floor to the knee. She's doing a pretty good job from the floor to the knee into her hip. And if we can continue this type of curve, so this is about you know 65% of her max, 65 to 70% of her max. So if we can see that and establish that technical model with this weight, as she gets heavier, we should continue to see uh, that same bar path continue uh, through those heavier weights. Jeez, that was fast. Okay, so here we can see actually Haley with the velocity in the top right here, that 1.99, uh, that was her peak velocity there. So she's tight off the floor. And you can see directly below is that 2D bar path where there's zero centimeters change, okay? So that's tight to the knee, that's what we wanna see. And you see as she gets past the knee, okay, now her velocity is starting to increase and the bar is actually negative one centimeters from where it started. So it's keeping tighter around that knee. As she starts to accelerate, okay, we see the acceleration point here is vertical at the top. So there's a lot of vertical work right there at this point. Negative one centimeters, it's extremely tight. Uh, the bar path's really nice down there with the 3D bar path. And it's also showing us how much it moved, the distance traveled for the bar. And then that takes us into that catch position. The interesting part too, is when you're doing stuff with the VMAX Pro, you can also see your cleans and the clean pull versus uh, the speed of the clean out of the hole. And then you can start to compare the, the speed of the clean out of the hole versus front squat speeds and how that can correlate to how tightly and how fast the athlete can move specific front squats. So this is just a really, really good tool to understand where your bar path is. And then now we're gonna go into a little bit deeper with specific technical models and cues and exercises to enhance your bar path so it's as straight and as vertical as Haley Records. Okay, so the first key to going through this now with all this information. So you got to see how Haley moved, how tight she keeps the bar off the floor to her knee and even into her hip. Now, what you can do is establish a technical model. If you wanna move as tightly as possible, have the best technique, establish who your technical model is gonna be. I would say Quo is one of the best, if not the best technical model. That's our model here at Garage Strength. Lu Jun is another technical model that you can use who keeps the bar extremely tight and does a ton of vertical work. And you can start to compare vertical work in a ratio to horizontal work and ideally, if you're one of the best in the world, that's gonna be over 90% vertical to horizontal work. I would even use Haley as a technical model for the clean and for the snatch, but now you have that technical model set, the exercises that you can use would be a no feet snatch, a low hang snatch, even muscle snatches where you make contact and hold plantar flexion. All of these movements are great exercises, great variations that can improve your bar path. And now that you have that technical model established, you can start to play around with those cues. You can start to understand, what do my knees have to do off the floor? What do they do through the reciprocation point? And then what do we do on the finish? And that's gonna enhance your overall position. So now we're gonna go into a couple of those key cues that can help you have a more vertical bar path. And if we use the VMAX Pro tool here, now we can really see and break this down. Okay, so off the floor, we wanna see push the knees back. That's a cue that we want, okay? Push the knees back, that's gonna have better or minimal amount of the bar going forward. We wanna see negative one centimeter or zero centimeter as a key reading, okay? Then around the knee, we wanna see push the knees under from a flat foot. So we wanna be able to pay attention to her heels being flat and we want the knees to come forward and flex while the heels are flat. That's gonna help keep the chest over the bar and keep that bar really tight. Remember that simple cue of keep the bar over the shoelaces. Now, as we get into the hip, we wanna think, extend the hip with flat feet. Extend the hip with flat feet. If you watch Quo or you watch uh, Lu Zhaojun, they're making contact 
with the bar when their heels are flat. So Haley starts to raise her heel just a little bit early. So this is something that we're working on, and this is why we're talking about you know flat-footed snatches, no feet snatches. That's where we want to improve that position. And then here off the hip, big upper body. You could even say elbows behind the torso on the finish and slide those feet out. That's another key concept. If we stay grounded longer, we can apply force longer, and that's going to enhance our actual acceleration. So use these cues, knees back off the floor, push the knees forward through a flat foot, push through a flat foot on the finish and big upper body or shrug, elbows back on that finish. These are good cues to help you keep that vertical bar path. Okay, so what did we learn? We went over what a bar path actually is, and then we went through the process of how do we achieve a vertical bar path, and then how can we actually use a tool? We can use the VMAX Pro to break down that bar path so we can see where it stays vertical, or it's getting too much of a horizontal load. We can see that by using the VMAX Pro. Then we came through and we gave you guys those technical models. Use Haley. She's a senior Pan Am champ. She's a senior national champ. You could use Lu Jun or even Quo. Okay, these are great technical models. And then we gave you specific variations flat-footed snatches, no feet snatches. These are movements that also will carry over to the clean. And then as we went through this, we gave you those specific cues. If you need help with your technique, you want your technique to be more vertical, we have a technique course that is down in the description. You can click on the link, head over to garagestrength.com and you can pick up our technique course today. You can also pick up one of our weightlifting programs to help you become a better weightlifter. Remember, freaks, you've always got to cultivate your power. Peace.